Maka's guides. <laughs> Hey everyone, Maka here playing Final Fantasy VII Remake. A little bit of a spoiler warning, but in this video, I'll be doing the Cleanup Crew Trophy. It'll also be an achievement in a year when the game comes out for Xbox, but it's for obtaining the Chocobo and Moogle Materia, which is a summon. These are pretty rare in the game, and the opportunity for this will take place during Chapter 6. You'll be working your way through the Mako Reactor 5 station, and you'll reach a giant room of, like, scaffolding. It's a little bit of a labyrinth. You'll have to disable some solar domes, and eventually you reach a part where you have to kind of shimmy across a little bit of scaffolding and there will be these giant air vents and behind the air vents is a materia but you won't actually be able to grab it until later because the vents are on and they're blocking you so once you get to the end of the room and you've shut down all of the domes there's actually an elevator to exit the area but barrett will remind you about the materia from before now you can decide to ignore him and continue through the game but you'll miss the optional objective here and this trophy. I'd also recommend making a couple of save points throughout the game as you play, just in case you do need to go back. Uh, it's a lot easier through save points. But anyways, right next to the elevator, you can take a different elevator across and then you'll go up into a little office. Once you're in this office, don't forget to get the song from the vending machine and feel free to stock up on potions while you're here and running low. You can also rest on the bench in order to regenerate a little bit. Now, when in this room, you can actually stand up and interact with the small terminal, and that will start the maintenance access procedure, which will open the door directly in front of us. Now, when you get into this room, you will have a 60-second timer to kill all of the enemies, including the two sentry rays, as well as the Queen Grash Strike. So this can actually be a little bit of a difficult battle, especially with the timer. If you do fail, it's not like a huge problem. Essentially, all you'll have to do is kind of exit out, reset the maintenance access procedure, and then retry. Sometimes the enemy spawns will be different based on when you retry. But for the strategy for this room, the best thing to do is just to keep pressure on the queen, try to stagger them, and kill them as quickly as possible. I used a lot of fire spells, and Barret should help you with the sentry turrets in the room, so you don't really have to worry about those as much, but just in case, you can use a thunder spell to clean them up really quickly at the end of the battle, hopefully getting in under that 60 second mark. Also, once you do finish, don't forget to interact with the terminal to end the countdown. So with all of the enemies defeated and about 11 seconds left on my clock, I'm going to interact with the terminal in the room, and this will grant me access to the time lock. This is kind of the whole point of what we're doing here. And what we can now do is just kind of sweep the room for any items we might have missed, but go through the door that now has opened up because of the terminal, take a right-hand turn, and at the end you'll find the air vent as well as the materia which will grant us the trophy or achievement if you're playing on Xbox in the future. And it'll also allow us to summon the Chocobo and Moogle in any of the fights. And yes, I will show you what that looks like in this coming clip. I don't think this summon is necessarily the best in the game, but it's definitely pretty cool. And the Chocobo is a wind elemental, so if you ever find yourself needing that, it will come in handy. But nonetheless, thank you so much for watching. I hope the video was helpful. Don't forget to drop a like, share it with a friend, and hopefully I see you in another one. Peace. As always, a special thank you to everyone on Patreon for supporting the show.